Okay, so I want to focus on a really important thing, and that is this: that you can never feel sad in life or in poker about anything as long as you did two things right. One, you had your heart in it; you were into it; you were like focused; you wanted to win. And two, you like played well, meaning like you're playing racquetball. If you know you can make the shot and you can dive without getting like you know knee burns or whatever, but like a reasonable hardcore attempt. It doesn't matter if you made the shot or not, or won the game or not, as long as you went for it with your heart and played well. And I did that for like 60 days. I feel great. I feel great. I came out stuck 10K after 60 days of an enormous amount of hours, a trifecta chunk of hours. But it feels like I feel robust right now. I feel good, you know? Even dying in the last hand. I mean, I played every hand. Now I have queens and the guy raised. What am I going to do? Oh, he's a fat stack. Okay, I call whatever. Hey, you win, no problem. Queen. What about your costume? Oh, that was fun. Yeah, home, according to. <clears throat> they know okay, so basically, here's the story. <clears throat> I like to be. I like. I'm a little bit of a mischief maker, and I like to play games, and I I like to um, play practical jokes. I'm that kind of guy, and I I was like watching Jackass, which is, by the way. Uh, like the most genius television in the world. And I see Johnny Knoxville dressed up as an old man, and I've seen the episode like two or three times. It's on the background somewhere I'm hanging out. And it just clicked, like, why I was, I was, because I was thinking, I want to be an old man. He's having fun. He's talking to random people, like that kid at the, in Santa Monica Boulevard, and he's like having him have a cigarette. I'm like, that's great fun. That's genius. And I was like, and then it just hit me right when I was thinking, thinking out, but I was like, <coughs> I can be the old man. Just because he did doesn't mean I, you know, there's like, oh, it's Ben used up again. And uh, homage to Johnny Knoxville, thank you for giving me the idea. Um, I had the most fun. It was the first time in my entire tournament career where breaks were too short and dinner break was too short. I'm always like, why are we even having breaks? What, uh, come on, guys, maybe one hour every 10 hours of play or eight hours of play. Because you're a machine, right? Because well, I just don't like taking breaks. Um, and, um, yeah, so I was just thinking of taking that's uh, So... No, it's not so much about it. Pro I think a reasonable structure would be every two hours, uh, 15 minutes, every three hours, every two or three. But the dinner breaks should not be, exi you shouldn't even have dinner breaks. You should just do, how about this? Every hour and a half, a 50, enough time to just go to the bathroom, whatever, and have yeah, a little snack. Can, Maybe 15 minutes. You can order food at your table. Or you like, can just, yeah, or you can just have it. You can order some food from the commissary and eat it on the way back to your table. How about that? What, who's, or eat at your table. Yeah, just have people bring food to the table. Some solution. But the whole, you know how many times I'm like that? I mean, today was good because we all went back to uh, um, Antonio's place. There were like 10 of us. We just we had food pre-ordered. And uh, Antonio's place is like four-minute drive, five-minute drive. So we just did that. But, uh, yeah, so the old man, that was fun, man, on breaks drifting around. Uh, it didn't go exactly as planned. Because of your hands? My hands. There was a lot of problems. I mean, one of the biggest problems was right out of the gate, I got caught having to show my hand out of position with a total error, and I fired like three bullets, and they all thought, wow, the whole man is like, he's on brain meltdown. I mean, it didn't make any sense what I was doing. I, had to show, I didn't want to show the hand. I tried folding it because the other guy showed me a jack high, and I had a 10 high. And I said, 10 high, nice hand. And then somebody else at the table was like, I want to see what he had, thinking it was maybe a 10 high flush draw. It was 10 deuce of clubs, and whatever. So it was really hard recovering from that. Uh, and how are your cash games going? Oh, uh, that's why, uh, I'm pretty much flat for this, uh, let's see, a pro, maybe minus a 10 or something for the trip. I only played like five cash games. I played 12 or 14 events, something in that range. A lot of events. I just most, you know. Well, people really want to know, because that's what they never hear about you. Do you play on online? No, I did. Uh, and where? On a place where they gave me a rebate. I don't think it might have been enough, but they did give me a rebate. Um, I built, I, once I was online, I lost 400 bucks. Then I reloaded. I lost another 400. Then I reloaded for 2,000. I lost that. Then I reloaded for 2,000. I lost that. Then I reloaded for 4,000. I lost that. And then I said, okay, maybe I don't know how to play poker. It took around 10,000 in losses before I considered that I, meanwhile, I've been winning and earning playing cash games, but I just realized I'm probably just an intermediate player that was winning. And so... Uh, the thing that really clicked was Aruba two years ago, uh, Hazards, Matt G, and two other guys that were all under 20. You know, one guy actually was 17 and he lied and said he was, uh, he paid a guy 50 bucks in high school to get an idea that he was 18, so that when he got carded by the Venezuelan, Arubian, whatever, 
he could show that he was 18 when he was really 17. And, and these three guys were at the airport, and they were all depressed. And I was like, why are you so glum, guys? And they were talking about how they only won between 12 was the smallest win and 25 was the biggest win. And they were all depressed that in seven days of poker on this bountiful planet, poker world, in the, that they only won. And I was like, you know, wow, these guys are bummed that they didn't tear it up more than that. I was like, okay, I'm, and I, they were all online gurus, you know, um, pre-online guru knowledge. that they were, And I just went, wow, I go, okay, that's it. And then I would... Antonio owed me 16000 He gave me the 16000 I said, give it to me on an online account, not going to need a name, because that was one of the rebate, you know, whatever, to mess the whole... And I built... And I played that 16. I started playing 2-4 until I could beat two tables at once, continuously. Like, I mean, I was really going back to bait. I was like, I just want to destroy, destroy, destroy. Like, and I then 3-6, and I didn't go until I, like, felt I could just win effortlessly, like, you know, then 5-10. Before, I was always starting at 10-25, whatever. And right around the time where I was getting ready to um, make 10, 25, and 25, 50, because I had built that 16, because I was starting to, I would learned, you know? I got it up to like 60, and I was like, just by careful, bank, you know, the whole Ferguson, the chopping, the, the bankroll, and playing good, and the, you know, and also knowing how to play effectively a lot better than I, you know. Then Potlum at Omaha opened up, and I was like, oh God, I turned that 60 into half a million. It was the best feeling in the world. And then in a period of about a year and a half, starting when they say the 25 months of scandalous shit was happening, I managed to turn that half million into like 120. And uh, I know that because I cashed out 120 from friends saying, hey, can I? And, then, and then my account went to zero. And I was like, and I realized it felt, first, the cash games were great. My tournament schedule was kicking up. The I bet you show kicked in. All this stuff happened. So I started pulling back the rudder on that, occasionally doing heads up stuff because I always had this funny feeling about like, because I would sign in. And it got to the point where I would see a couple names and I'd be like, oh yeah, Mutant Genius Wizard, Mutant Genius Wizard. And I couldn't like, and I just felt like handlocked a few times when I played. And thank God I got busy with other stuff because I for sure would have reloaded them.